Hello, today I'll be walking you through how to set up the GitLab Connector. The GitLab Connector can be found within the Marketplace section on the Yellowfin website. On the Yellowfin website, go to the Marketplace in the top right hand corner and the GitLab Connector will be found under Connectors. Once you've downloaded the connector from the Marketplace, you need to upload this to the Plugin Manager section within the Yellowfin. To upload, go to the Yellowfin menu, Administration, Plugin Management. Click on Add to add a new connector. Give your connector a name, so we'll call it GitLab. And give it a description. This is GitLab Connector. And then click on the icon image to upload your connector. Click on the GitLab Connector. It'll be in a YFP extension. It'll just process the file. Once it's processed the file, you can submit. So click on submit. This will add the GitLab connector to the plugin management section. Now to connect to the GitLab connector data source, we need to go to our menu again, and then go to administration console, go to data sources, click on add. If you've uploaded your connector properly, then it should appear under the choose a, a platform. So click on GitLab. Give your new connection settings a name. So we'll call it GitLab. Give it a description. This is GitLab data source. Underneath we want to connect to our GitLab host. Grab this. URL here as this is our GitLab host. Copy it into the GitLab host there and we just want to have HTTP there. Good. Next we want to grab our private token. To do this we need to sign into our GitLab. So go to your GitLab. We'll sign in. Go up to your GitLab image. Click on that in the top right hand corner and then go to settings. Then go to access tokens. So specify a name for your access token. We'll call it GitLab connector. We can put in an expires that. So this is just a date stamp of when you want your access token to expire. If you leave it blank, then it will never expire. For our scopes, we want to tick API and read user and we want to generate our personal access token by clicking on this button. Once you've generated your access token then we can copy this into the private token here. So the last three fields, days, will you can specify the amount of days you want to grab GitLab data from. So if I selected 360 days, that would be 360 days from the current date. You can select the API version you want to use. So there's a choice of version 3 or version 4. For more information regarding these versions, please see the GitLab documentation. And we've got commit statistics as well. So if you specify as yes, then you will get access to fields such as code additions, code deletions, or, co or total code changes. We'll specify yes. Once all this, all this information is in, we can launch the pre built content. Once the pre launch built content has loaded, Yellowfin will take you to the browse all page where you can see all the pre built content created. So let's have a look at the dashboard. Click on the GitLab dashboard. And there you have it, there's the pre-built content loaded on the dashboard. Thanks for watching setting up the GitLab connector in Yellowfin.